functions of the form y is equal to a times sine. As I'm going to show you how to graph functions of the form y is equal to a times sine and b times x plus or minus c plus d. So for example, we'll start with the function y is equal to negative 3 times sine in parentheses 2 theta plus pi divided by 2 plus 2. Yes, there's a lot going on with this function, but it really isn't too bad to graph. We just have to keep one thing in mind, and that is this. Take one step at a time. Do that, and this function is a cinch to work with. So where we're going to start, though, with this is we're going to start within the parentheses and look at this 2 theta plus pi divided by 2 we want to figure out what's going on horizontally. So we have 2 theta plus pi divided by 2. Now notice that I'm multiplying theta by 2. So I'm compressing the function, the sine function, by a factor of 1 half. Or keep in mind that the period of sine and cosine is equal to 2 pi divided by b. In this case, b is equal to 2. So 2 pi divided by 2 equals pi. So this function is going to cycle every pi units rather than a regular sine function which cycles every 2 pi. So this function is going to cycle every pi units. Now we want to determine where this function is going to start. Generally, it will start sine of theta or just the parent function at theta or x is equal to 0. We want to do the same thing with this function but we first have to figure out where that starting place is going to be. Now our first inclination would be to look at that pi divided by 2 and say hey we're going to shift this function to the left keeping in mind that for a horizontal shift it's always opposite in sign that we see. This is a positive so we're going to shift this to the left so the inclination may be to say that we're going to shift this to the left by pi divided by 2. But that's not correct. What we have to do is factor out this 2 out of 2 theta and pi divided by 2. So we're going to factor out that 2. So I'm going to write this as 2 theta plus pi divided by 4. So that factoring out the 2. Now if you distribute, you'll see that's the same as 2 theta plus pi divided by 2. 2 times theta is 2 theta. And then 2 times pi divided by 4, or 2 times pi divided by 4, is equal to 2 pi divided by 4, which is pi divided by 2. So again, we first have to factor out that coefficient in front of the theta to see what actually happens horizontally. So we see we have pi divided by 4 in parentheses. So what that means is that we're going to shift this function, pi divided by 4 units, to the left. That's where it's going to start. It won't start at 0. It's going to start at pi divided by 4. So I'll just write that. It's going to, so this function will start at negative pi divided by 4 units. And its period is pi units. So the function is going to start at negative pi divided by 4, and then it will cycle pi units long. Okay, so it will start, it will start at negative pi divided by 4, cycle pi units long, and then it will end at negative pi divided by 4 plus pi, because it's cycling pi units long, it will end at 3 fourths pi. Okay, so we'll use that information for theta or x to help us graph this function. It's going to start at negative pi divided by 4 and then it's going to end at 3 fourths pi. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to start to graph this. First, I'll start with the parent function, sine theta. 
and I'll list my theta values. Okay, as before, we always start with theta is equal to 0, and then pi divided by 2, 3, or pi, not 3 halves pi, but pi comes next, 3 pi divided by 2, and then 2 pi. And then our parent function sine theta, so y equals sine theta, <coughs> excuse me, when theta is 0, we get sine of 0 is 0. Sine of pi divided by 2 is 1, sine of pi is 0, sine of 3 pi divided by 2 is negative 1, and then sine of 2 pi is 0. Okay, so for our new function, we need our new theta. So I'll just write that theta prime. Now we said it was going to start at negative pi divided by 4, and that would end at 3 fourths pi. And again, now let me write my new function y is equal to negative 3 sine of 2 theta plus pi divided by 2 plus 2. So our function is going to start at negative pi divided by 4 and go to 3 fourths pi. We need to figure out how we're going to fill in this information. Well, our cycle, or period, is pi, and so what we'll do is we'll take that cycle of pi and we'll divide it by 4. Pi divided by 4 equals pi over 4. And we do that so we can get four equal intervals from negative pi divided by 4 to 3 fourths pi. So each interval will have to add pi divided by 4. So negative pi divided by 4 plus the increment pi divided by 4 is going to give us 0. And then 0 plus pi divided by 4 will equal pi divided by 4. And then pi divided by 4 plus pi divided by 4 will equal 2 pi divided by 4, or just pi over 2. So there we have it. We have our x values, or our theta values, that we're going to use to help us graph. So we'll start at negative pi divided by 4, 0, pi divided by 4, pi over 2, and then end the cycle at 3 fourths pi. So that will be our x values. All we need to do now is determine our y values. In order to get what our new y values will be, we're going to take that coefficient in front of the sign, negative 3, and then we're going to take that plus 2 because we're shifting this function up 2 units. We're going to take that and work with those values, but specifically we're going to work with our parent function and these values here for y is equal to sine theta. So we're going to make a transformation to those values. So we're going to take a 0, multiply it by negative 3, add 2, and that will give us 2. So at theta is equal to negative pi divided by 4, we're going to get y is equal to 2. And then we're going to take 1, Multiply that by negative 3, add 2. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, plus 2 will give us negative 1. And then we'll take 0, multiply that by negative 3, add 2. And that will give us 2. We're going to take negative 1, multiply that by negative 3, plus 2. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3, plus 2 is 5. And then we're going to take 0, multiply that by negative 3, plus 2, and that will give us 2. So these will be our new y values. 2, negative 1, 2, 5, and 2. For the theta values of negative pi divided by 4, 0, pi divided by 4, pi divided by 2, and 3 fourths pi. So these are the values we're going to use to graph our transformation.